The Voice of Experience. Endoscopic Ultrasound, Tips and Techniques. Featuring Dr. Anand Sahai, Associate Professor of Medicine, St. Luke Hospital, Montreal, Canada. Good day, my name is Anand Sahai. Uh, I'm an endoscopographer, and I've been asked to discuss uh, my transition from uh, one EUS system to the Pentax system uh, and how I adapted to the, the new feel of the scopes and, uh, and I wanted to discuss some of the techniques I've used to sort of uh, change the way I maneuver the scopes to help me get uh, to where I want to go. I uh, have been doing EUS now uh, for over 15 years. I'm approaching probably 20,000 cases. Uh, I was with uh, Olympus for many years and I switched uh, to Pentax about five or six years ago, uh, primarily because the, uh, when I compared them, the image, the ultrasound image, was, uh, was clearly better, was clearly superior. So the tricks I've had for intubating, uh, basically the number one thing I do is make sure the balloon is always well, well inflated. Uh, I think having a, a large balloon uh, makes the, the scope slide down easier. I think to some extent the balloon stimulates a bit of a swallowing reflex so it helps the patients kind of swallow the scope and it just makes things uh, less traumatic. In contrast to other systems, you don't want to just sort of push the scope around the duodenum. Uh, to me, uh, what you have to do is let the duodenum come to you. So again, I keep the balloon very large, I engage the apex, and then I just give a little bit of right and the right left, start turning my shoulders, and as soon as the balloon starts slipping around the apex, it almost gets pulled into D2. And instead of pushing, I just let D2 the scopes just sort of slide into D2, and once I see that I'm clearly around the corner, then I can put my tip up, torque right a little more, and pull back, and we're into D2. And it really seems to work uh, very well. Intubation techniques. Keep balloon large. Use the tip down maneuver to pull the scope tip to the back of the pharynx. Visualize the vocal cords. Place EUS scope between index and middle finger and tilt the patient's head forward. And to intubate, uh, I keep the balloon up nice and large. Okay, I got some gel on here. We put the scope in the back of the patient's throat. Okay, and then we, then we put our tip down. Put our tip down just to, to pull ourselves back into the back of the throat. So it's the tip down the bush. Respirez fort. So here I'm going to put my tip down. It's going to pull us into the back. Then endoscopically, usually you can see where you are. Okay, so I'm behind the cords. You can just tell them to swallow a bit. If that doesn't work, I put the scope between my two fingers, tilt the head forward, and just push a little bit, and there, it goes right in. Techniques for intubating D2. Keep balloon large. Engage apex. Angulate right on the right-left knob. Rotate shoulders to the right. Let D2 slip over the balloon. Begin shortening maneuver after the tip slides into D2. Again, to go in the second duodenum, we leave the balloon up quite large, just kind of engage into the uh, apex, and then just torque, give it some right in your right left, turn your shoulders, and just let the duodenum slide over the scope and come down, really normal duodenum as well. Then you just shorten up like any RCP, put your tip max up and come back. A novel approach to imaging the pancreas. The other thing we found is that because the penetration is so good with the Pentax scopes, we can oftentimes image the head of the pancreas from the stomach, so we don't even need to go into D2 a lot of the times. And um, uh, basically from the GE junction, if you follow the pancreatic duct and you learn what the landmarks look like, you can really follow the pancreatic duct and the bile duct around the confluence and into the head of the pancreas uh, very well. Uh, since I switched to Pentax, I've been seeing things that I just couldn't see before and it's really changed the way I, I, I do EUS. So I would encourage you um, to really take a look. I'm sure when you look at the ultrasound, you'll have no question about that, but just take some time to get used to the feel of something. And I think change uh, can be difficult, but uh, in the end, uh, it's often uh, well worth it. Thank you for your attention. Pentax, empowering excellence.
It is the responsibility of each medical facility to ensure that only well-educated and appropriately trained personnel who are competent and knowledgeable about endoscopic equipment be involved in the use of these medical devices. Known risks and or potential injuries associated with flexible endoscopic procedures include, but are not limited to, the following. Perforation, infection, hemorrhage, burns, and electric shock.